before we have to go get Brayden from school. So Tristan and I are about to go into Hobby Lobby and browse, because what else do you do with 30 minutes? You go into Hobby Lobby. <laughs> so that is what we are doing. Um, I'm actually so excited to go get Brayden from school today because he had like his little bike rodeo at school. I don't know if you guys did this, but I remember in like elementary school, he's only in preschool, but in elementary school we always did like the little bike rodeo and they would set up like fake rows and roads and stop signs and like all of that and he had to bring his bike to school today to do their little bike rodeo there. So I can't wait to hear all about it when I pick him up. I hope he loved it as much as I used to love it in school. But anyways, um, Tristan was getting antsy to leave the house, so we ended up at Hobby Lobby. Let's go see what we can find. <laughs> It's not on sale yet, so I won't be buying it, but let's do a little sneak peek on some 4th of July stuff. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. Oh, this. Oh. The most perfect tiered tray items right there. All of this, really. Oh, I wish they were on sale. I want this one. I feel like it's going to be a seller outer. I might get it. It's only $3.99. I love this for the porch. Okay, on a different note, these are so fun. So fun are these earrings. How cute. These hair ties. All of the party things. I feel like I'm more impressed this year than I have been in previous years with their 4th of July stuff currently. Some porch stuff. This is cute. Oh, I love I love this will be the perfect sign to go above my hutch like I always do <sighs> definitely want that so when you guys see 4th of July stuff on sale you better let me know so I can get here because <laughs> I only buy stuff at Hobby Lobby when it's on sale Ash and you they have some really fun summer outdoor toys as well like how fun and unique is this this so cute my kids would love those they would love those. Huh, Tristan? Let's see, over here, they had this stuff last year, but still super cute. Like this one to go over um, a vase. Um, holy giant poppet, if you have poppet loving kids. <laughs> oh my gosh, how cute is that little splash pad? Balls! <laughs> ba -ba. Yeah, more balls, huh? Ba. Um, okay, some little picks. These ones are cute. Ma mommy! Mommy! Yeah. Uh. I want to know, when do you guys take out 4th of July decor? I feel like I typically do it in June, like the beginning of June. So May will be spring and then June we'll start decorating for 4th of July. But let me know what you guys do, I'm curious. What I actually wanted to look at here was some outdoor things, planters and stuff, because one of my next decor videos will be um, my porch decorating. It's usually done by now, but it's literally been so cold still here that I haven't wanted to do it. So that will be like one of my next ones and my kitchen spring decor video. We wear some big spenders in Hobby Lobby today. Tristan got a candy and I just got this little Easter gumball machine type thing. I think this will be so cute on tiered tray. It was originally $7.99, Easter's 90% off right now. Um, so I don't even know how much it was, but super inexpensive. <laughs> My Easter, unfortunately, did not have much. I think that it probably did, but there was a girl like right in front of me with her cart completely full of Easter clearance. Like I'm not joking, completely full. I mean, she like cleared out the shelves of all the kids stuff and everything. Um, like there was like 20 little Lego sets and she literally grabbed every single one. So, <laughs> 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 
That's sweet of her. Sharing all the Easter clearance, you know. <laughs> um, but it is time for us to get D3. Uh, That's Brayden. <laughs> Bray, I want to hear all about your bike. Mama, we did it outside. <gasps> you went outside to do it? Was it so fun? Yeah. What we didn't want, but we didn't want it in the wall till we did put it back there. In the driveway? Is that where you did it, or what? Yeah. And they put a jump up there. Was there like a stop sign and stuff? Yeah. Two stop signs. Two stop signs? Yeah, to, you know how there are people walking on this? Yeah. A crosswalk. Mm -hmm. Did you have so much fun? Mm -hmm. That used to be Mama's favorite in school. Now what are we going to go do? Get a milkshake. Get a milkshake to celebrate the end of the week. And fun truck, chicken nuggets, <laughs> and apples. Yes, chicken nugget and happy meal. Food. Yes. Yeah. You want chicken nuggets too? Bye. And french fries? Bye. And milkshake? Bye. And apple? No. We stopped to see my mom and let the boys eat lunch there. Um, and so now we are home. Tristan is down for his nap. And I have been wanting to make some blueberry muffins for so long now. So I'm finally gonna do it. What are you crying at, Miley? I swear, if it's not the kids, it's the dog. Someone's always gotta be making noise when I go to film. Yeah. Always. <laughs> um, but I'm just gonna make the Magnolia Table Cookbook Blueberry Muffins. I've made them with you guys before, but they are seriously so good. I love them so much. So let's make some muffins. I also have a Walmart delivery coming with just a few things <laughs> that I needed for dinner tonight. I need to fold some laundry during nap time. I also made a little video for my dad. Originally we were gonna play at his funeral, um, but there like wasn't time, I guess, or whatever, to do it at the funeral because my mom didn't like tell her about it before. So I ended up just sharing it later on, but I have a bunch of flash drives. I'm gonna burn that video onto all these flash drives so we can get out to all my dad's brothers and just like, um, you know, my siblings and everything like that. So I need to do that today. That's laundry, blueberry muffins. I think those are like my three main things during nap time and pops possibly sit down and start editing the video that will go up tomorrow in my time last week in your time okay my eyebrows have been bothering me in the viewfinder all day and now i'm noticing why i definitely made this one like a little thicker than this one so yay for forever having uneven eyebrows so here's the recipe i'm using like i said i did share it with you guys in a previous video it's out of the volume two cookbook I wake up from the sunshine on my face So dehydrated, don't know what to say Who's sleeping by my side? What did I do last night? Can someone let this headache go away? Yesterday was supposed to be quiet being to myself and sit in silence Until I got a call My friend showed up at my door They wanted me to go out for a while We were dancing in the dark With a feeling in our eyes We're 
with a feeling in our eyes It felt like we had it all We were dancing in the dark We were dancing in the dark Wow, oh, 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 oh
They're also non-stick, so that's awesome. Um, everybody loves a non-stick pan when cooking. However, before we get to cooking, I just wanted to tell you guys, from the day that this video is posted until May 15th, you can use the link in my description box to get 10% off of your order, which is amazing. I always film when my dishwasher is going. I just forget about it. And then it makes a really loud noise. I'm like, oh. <laughs> they sent me a special link just for you guys to receive that discount. So I am so excited. Ugh, so excited. Even more excited to try these. So let's get cooking. I have two giant steaks right here. Giant. <laughs> I am going to cut these up into bites because we are going to make some garlic butter steak and potato bites tonight. Um, a nice one pan dinner to give this pan a try. Let's start off by getting these bad boys seasoned up. I'm gonna grab my garlic and we are gonna, you know, just soak these in garlic. I will go ahead and cut them up after. I'm gonna let them kind of marinate um, with some fresh garlic and stuff first. Of course, some pepper. And now, just because this is like literally my favorite steak seasoning forever, I am just gonna put, whoa. I am just gonna put a little bit of this Chicago steak seasoning on as well. Not quite, ooh, I was about to say not as much because I want it to be really garlicky and then I um, put quite a lot. All right, let's flip these over. Do the same thing. Lastly, I'm going to smear these with some minced garlic. Now I'm just gonna let these kind of sit here for a minute, kind of let them come to room temperature a little bit as well, because that's when they cook best, while we start our potatoes. I'm sorry about the dishwasher noise, but there's nothing I can do about it at this point. Will you go? My dogs are always up my butt when I'm trying to cook. Okay, so I'm gonna start off by just putting a little bit of, I have avocado oil into my pan and also like three tablespoons of butter. So now I have my washed yellow potatoes. I'm gonna go ahead and add these in here and then we're gonna get these seasoned up with of course some more garlic powder. Pepper and then we're gonna add some thyme, oregano. I'm gonna go ahead and put the lid on and let that start to cook up while I cut my steak. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? You guys, these cook like a literal dream. Like the fact that this just slides around. Just slides around, nothing's sticking. I don't know, maybe it's because I've never owned like nice quality pot and pan set, but holy moly, this is like a dream. It is like a whole dream. Amazing. I'm gonna go ahead and transfer them into a bowl. Ah! make a mess while I'm at it. Ah! I suck. Mommy. All right, now over here, I'm gonna add some more butter. Add in my steak bite. Holy steak. All right, so once my steak was done, I just went ahead and added my potatoes back to the pan. I'm gonna mix this all up. I did just roast some broccoli as well. And now we're actually gonna take this dinner to my mom's house and have dinner over there. Um, Floyd's over there working on some things in her room right now. She's redoing her bathroom and stuff. So we're gonna bring dinner there and have it with her. Um, so I'm probably just gonna throw the broccoli right in as well. Make it like a little one pot meal. But you guys, I'm not joking when I say that the way this pan just cooked, I don't think I've ever had food slide so easily on a pan before. Like I said, I've also never had like a good quality pot and pan set, but oh, I'm in love. Highly recommend, highly recommend. <laughs> okay, I also didn't realize that these are actually magnetic. Oh, wrong way, wrong way. These are magnetic. You can line up all your pots and pans. I was just reading the like little pamphlet and it says that they recommend doing it um, as like a drying rack right on your counter or whatever. Hello, how'd you do? I'm not broken, I'm just split in two. Hope you're fine. Ain't got time to do everything you said you would Frames of the past and 
The memory of you just come running by Pictures of sunny days With your smile